Hey, Jonathan Young from 8020 Marketing. Today I just want to show you how to structure your website, how to put a plan of action together to not only laser target the words that people are looking for, so giving uh, the clients the, the information that they're after, but also for getting maximum impact at the search engines as well. We're into really the back end of Google itself and the theme that we're going to investigate for creating site structure is dog training. Uh, Okay, and here we've got the keyword ideas for uh, what Google considers to be related to dog training niche. And we're going to go into local search volume because that will give us our main theme keyword which is dog training. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick some category keywords. So things where there, there are quite a lot of searches but these are going to be the main categories. The structure you're going to create is almost like a triangle really structure of your website. You'll have your theme keyword, which you're targeting, which will be nine times out of ten is your home page. That's your theme keyword. And then underneath the theme, you'll have category pages. And then underneath each category page, you're going to have lots of uh, long tail keyword phrases. So you're creating um, a pyramid type shape of your of your website. So in this one, we're going to pick um, gun dog training. We do gun dog training, so we'll use that. And what what the easiest way to do that is we want that keyword so we're going to click the add button here on the right and as you'll see this pops it on the right hand right hand side here uh, and we're just going to go through with everything that, that really is to do with our business uh, dog training collars yes we do those as well so we're actually going to add that and we're going to do dog training courses because we run those every week and hey there's some books here dog training books I haven't written any books but we can actually become what's known as an affiliate of someone like Amazon or something and if we know there's some great books out there if we send people to Amazon and they buy the book Amazon give us a little bit of money for doing it so that's probably a good thing to do as well so we'll add that one as well so we've now got a main theme keyword which is dog training we've got our four category keywords now obviously you can build more and more and more and more of these category keywords over time uh, but these are the four we're just going to concentrate on right, right now. Now what we need to do now is download these as a text file. It's easier for text right now if you've got CSV, so if you've got Excel built into your computer, that's by far the, the, the best one to use. I'm going to download these now as a text file and then I'll come back to you in a moment to show you really how we structure the site. Okay, so now we've got our keywords here and these are our category keywords. So. I'm going to type theme, which is dog training, and then we've got categories, which are each one of these. Now, the next stage is under each one of these, we're going to have some long tail keywords, which are web pages relating to each of these words. So, just to show you how we do that is if I now go back into Google and one of the keywords we're after is gun dog training so the next stage I take is now I'm going to find all the keywords that people use at, at Google relating to the main keyword which is gun dog training so if I put in here gun dog training and I get keyword ideas And now what I'm going to do is now the category was gun dog training and these are the the long tail keywords. These are the, the pages that we create and over time you can create hundreds of these pages dependent on how many people are actually searching for them each month. And as we can see there's a few pages here um, regarding gun dog training with some decent volume of people that use these keywords at the search engines. So the next one we're going to use gun dog training equipment. So just for ease of use I'm just going to copy this and add it to gun dog training category keyword and I'm going to also add training gun dogs uh, gun dog training books again I'm going to copy that keyword something I can write something about you get the picture and you do this for basically each of these main category keywords until you've got a structure building up underneath the category okay so we've now got our main theme keyword which is dog training we've got our categories which are dog training books dog training collars dog training courses and gun dog training and underneath each of those categories 
we've got separate other pages targeting other keywords that are used in that niche. Okay, I've logged into the administration section of the hub and uh, I've brought up the file manager and what I'm going to do now is turn these categories and the long tail keywords into folders and pages on the site to give the structure of the site and show you how easy it is without knowing any HTML or any coding or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is create these categories which are dog training books, collars, courses and gun dog training. So I'm going to click create folder and the first category I'm going to create or the first folder I'm going to create is gun dog training. Save that and as you can see it's created a folder within the system. So I'll undo the others and I'll come back to you in a moment. Right we've got all our categories built now uh, built into the system itself and now we're going to build these pages here which are the long tail pages relating to this category gun dog training into the system as well under each one of these folders. So what I'm going to do now is go out to website, web pages, create a new web page and I'm going to select the folder that I want the web page to go under. Now obviously it's going to go under the category keyword which in this case is gun dog training because that's the category that we've, we've researched. The page URL now becomes the first long tail keyword which is gun dog training equipment. So in here I'd write type gun dog training equipment and the page name would be gun dog training equipment and this is the keyword that I'm targeting so I know which keywords that I've got in the system which pages I've got to build and which pages I've already built so I'm not duplicating any of my efforts and now what I'll do as well is put in this keyword so I'll just copy and paste that into the website content and I'm going to save this as a draft now this means it doesn't go live on the site so you can create as many of these pages as you want and none of them will show so at this point I'm just going to create save because we're just doing um, the structure of the site right now so I've clicked save and I do this for each so I go to web pages create new web page for each of these long tail keywords and put it under each one of the categories that it relates to Back at the web pages now you'll see our four categories and under gun dog training the first page that we put in was gun dog training equipment that's all in there ready to go now and we do that for each other page and build the site out and as you can see very quickly you're building the structure of the site it's very simple for you to know where all the content is and it took a few moments it's something you don't need to need, know a great deal about the URL which will show in the top of your browser bar if I click through to Gundog Training Equipment again, I forgot to show you this actually, is so this would be your domain name, then it would be Gundog Training, which is the obviously the category, and then underneath that would be Gundog Training Equipment. So the whole structure of the site is telling Google, ah oh, yes, it's related to gun or, or dog training, Gundog Training is related to dog training and gun dog training equipment is related to gun dog training so the structure is all set up for, for Google as well so that's how to set up the pages within the system it's a very very quick process and in the next video I'm going to really show you how to build out a page and how to set it up to be search engine friendly speak to you soon bye